Hi, and welcome to the video instructions for the colorful coffee filter monster activity, all part of the Evansville Museum's neighborhood Halloween bash. Thank you to our sponsor, D. Patrick Auto Dealerships, for sponsoring this event. For this activity, you're going to just need a few different things of supplies. First, you're going to need some coffee filters. Three or four should be good. You're going to need a small glass of water and a dropper or pipette. You can see it there. It's a little see-through. You're going to need some washable markers and some extras to decorate your monster. I have some stickers, but if you have googly eyes or pom-poms, you can use what you like. Okay, let's get started. Once you have all your supplies together, we're going to make our very first monster. So you're going to want to take one coffee filter, set the other ones to the side, and you are going to pick some different colors of washable markers. I'm going to go with pink, blue, brown, and purple. And you're going to decorate your coffee filter whatever, with whatever designs you'd like to do. I'm going to go abstract with lines and squiggles and dots, but you could draw something Halloween themed like a pumpkin. So we're going to start out with some pink polka dots. And I'm going to make some blue lines. Just going to be a little bit everywhere. Okay. Now some purple squiggles. That purple is actually a blue, so surprise! But it still looks pretty nice. Okay, and this, which... It's either brown or black, I honestly can't tell. We'll find out. We're gonna do some more squiggles. Okay. So next, you're gonna take your dropper or pipette and a little bit of water, and you're going to use the pipette. So what you do is you squeeze the top and it causes water to go up, okay. So you take just a couple drops and you're going to gently squeeze so the water goes in the coffee filter onto the colors. Now these colors are going to start to run and it might be a good idea to put um, some wax paper down on your table, which I did not do in this example, but you probably would like to. So all these colors are going to start to mix, kind of create a tie-dye effect. So we're going to give it a couple of minutes for those colors to start to mix. Okay, so I've got some freezer paper down to help protect my table, and the colors are starting to mix, and it's creating this really pretty design. It's a little hard to see um, unless the light's going directly. You're kind of getting my shadow, but the pinks are starting to mix with the blues, and it's coming out really well. So. When you finish your design, you can just set it to the side and we're gonna let that dry. Um, once it's dry, you can decorate your monster. You can add a smiley face and some eyes. Um, if you're gonna pick up one of the museum's activity kits, which you can reserve online, we're gonna have some stickers in them so you can add some eyeballs to add to your monster. Now, I recommend trying a couple different color combinations. So we're gonna set this one here and I'm gonna get out a second coffee filter. And we're going to try some different colors. Now this time, now that you know that the colors are going to mix together, think about what kind of designs you can do. I cannot get these apart at all. There we go. Okay. We're going to set that down. And I think I want to use some yellows, a brighter blue, a deeper purple, and let's see if I have a red. Well, we'll get started with these. And my goal is I'm really hoping the yellow and the blue are going to mix together. So this time, I'm going to do more solid colors. I'm going to do a triangle here. I'm going to try some blue.
and then some purple on this side. Okay. So it gives you a sense of what it looks like now. And we're going to add some water with our pipette. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but the blue is starting to mix with the yellow and we're starting to get these cool swirls. Guys, I'll just move it closer. There you go. Um, I really like how that's coming out. Now, since it's, um, it is soaking the coffee filter, I am going to fold it and see if we can get some of the color to transfer to the other side. So the fun thing about this activity is you get to experiment with patterns and you can experiment with different colors and color mixing. Just be creative. They're also really fun to hang in your window when you're done. Oh, that came out pretty cool. So you can see the blues, the yellows, and the pinks. Yes, there we go, I had those backwards. And once again, you can add some eyeballs, some um, smiley face, maybe a scary face, because this is Halloween, whatever designs you like. And that's how you make your own colorful coffee filter monster. Please snap a photo and share with us your designs at hashtag Evansville Museum and hashtag Halloween Bash 2020. We'd love to see how yours came out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.